Hello, welcome back to my journey here in Bloom. I did quite a bit in the last episode, but I still have lots to do, and one of those is collecting more magic pollen. Because there's still two different areas I need to discover and it takes quite a bit of magic pollen, so let's jump straight into it. In the last episode, I asked for your help on which magical barrier I should unlock next and most of you chose the cave. So that's what we're going to work on. The cave's magical barrier takes 256 magic pollen, which adds up to about four stacks of 64 and I don't have that much <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do a lot more planting and growing some plants to get their magic pollen and I will say I'm starting to run out of room to grow plants <laughs> but I do have some space still over on the left side of the greenhouse so I think that's where I'm gonna put most of these rose clippings that I have and I still can't believe I have this many clippings still from that hidden chest I found in the meddler's maze. I haven't needed to gather other clippings since, which has been pretty relaxing, so... I'm going to keep gathering all this magic pollen and water all my plants so that they can keep growing. Because like I always say, we need more magic pollen! Okay, this side is good. Let's go check out the plants on the other side. Ooh, look at all the magic pollen. Let's get to collecting. Well, I think it's time that I cleared up this middle section and get some new plants going. And this should hold quite a bit of plants and to get me to my goal of magic pollen that I need. Ah, uh, that looks much better. Now I'm just gonna collect all of this and let's make some plots. Now that the dirt's ready, it's time to plant some roses! I got them all planted and they look so great and I didn't realize how many rose bushes I could fit. Now it's time to water them. All finished. Now we just simply gotta wait for these to grow and we can collect the magic pollen. And let me tell ya, getting four stacks of magic pollen is gonna be such a process, but in the meantime, while I wait for my plants to grow, there's something I've been wanting to do. Hey, I found another empty planter box! Seems like a good opportunity to plant some more trimmings! I need all the magic pollen I can get today so I can unlock that portal in the cave. I'm still so very curious to see what we're gonna unlock down there, so we'll just have to wait and see. So before I got distracted planting more rose bushes, this is the main reason I wanted to come over here. I feel like my home's been long needing some new furniture, so... Over at the Grand Library shows me a ton of recipes that I can craft for new furniture for my home. And I'm definitely going to be crafting that and a few of these, oh my goodness. Let's go find these plants and get some clippings from them. The Central Gardens where you can find the trio star and let's get a clipping. And I'm pretty sure the next plant I needed was lilacs. 
Here's one, let's get a clipping and I think I might get two because the window boxes look very cute. Alrighty, let's go craft some furniture. I'm actually quite excited to add some new decorations to my home and I'm very curious to see what all this furniture looks like when I place it down. Okay, I think I'm ready to start decorating. Time for a homestead makeover. Let's head inside. Hmm, alrighty, so I think I'm just gonna pick one spot in my house to place all this furniture and I think I'm gonna do it over here. Voila, speed decorating. <laughs> but I think it does look quite nice and the window boxes are definitely my favorite furniture. And it does make that side of my home look a little less empty, so... I think it looks good. Let me know down in the comments on which furniture is your favorite and what furniture I should keep adding to my home. I'd really love to know. And let's get back into my adventure in Bloom. I have just about three stacks of magic pollen now. So I'm gonna go do some searching and find all the magic pollen and empty plant boxes that I can find. So we can unlock that cave and see what's hidden behind that magical barrier. And I didn't realize that it's dark out, so I'm gonna go to sleep first and we'll do it in the morning. Good night. Uh, another beautiful day here in Bloom. Let's go find some magic pollen. Let me collect your magic pollen, please. Thank you. No way, look at all this magic pollen I found. Haha, <laughs> yes, let's go find more. I found the roses that I planted in Mother's Maze quite a while ago and they're fully grown now. <laughs> so much magic pollen for me. I should have my four stacks in no time. Looks like the roses I planted by my store shed need some water. And watering my plants is one thing I can never forget because... If they don't get water, they won't grow and they won't get magic pollen. And that's the whole main reason of this. And let's see how much I've collected so far. And just about three stacks. Looks like there's some magic pollen for me to collect in my greenhouse. So I'm gonna do that. Now it's watering time! I finally did it. Four stacks of magic pollen. What a relief. I'm so happy to finally have 256 magic pollen in my inventory. And you know what that means. Time to go to the cave. It's finally that time and I didn't think I was actually gonna be able to get that much magic pollen that soon. But here we are. We're here at the magical barrier in Arcane Hollow. Time to unlock it and finally get to see what's hidden behind this barrier. Are you excited? Because I'm pretty excited. This has got to be the most magic pollen I've used to remove a magical barrier and oh my goodness, why is this taking so long? That I got to be the longest barrier to break, but I'm so happy it's finally completed. Well, this looks intriguing. Looks like some sort of crypt or something, and there's a big crazy looking table in the center. Huh, that looks very magical and something I don't want to touch yet. But there isn't much to this place besides this table, so I wonder what it does. 
And with that being said, I'm gonna leave that for the next episode. I truly hope you enjoyed watching my venture here in Bloom today. It was so much fun decorating my house and unlocking this magical barrier to a new area I can't wait to check out in the next episode. Stay tuned for that and never forget to enjoy some Minecraft. Goodbye.